Hello, my friends. This is Brother Des coming to you today from the Prophetic Bible Teaching for Sunday, June the 30th, 2024. Last Sunday's uh, prophetic teaching <clears throat> was on the topic, What Should the Called Out Assembly of Believers Do While We Wait for the Mystery we're humans becoming immortals. Also, last Sunday brought us to the end of chapter one in our textbook about understanding the mystery. Today's study continues with the mystery of humans becoming immortals as we move into chapter two, which is all about the differences between the mystery that's humans becoming immortals, and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Okay? As we introduce this chapter, we make clear that the mystery of the humans becoming immortals and the second coming of Jesus Christ on earth are two separate prophetic events with two different directions. <clears throat> First, with the rapture, where humans will become immortals, the believers will be caught up to meet the Lord in the ear. In this event, millions and millions and millions and billions of dead and living believers will be transformed. And after that transformation process, be caught up to meet the Lord in the ear. The second coming of Jesus Christ is to the earth. He will be bringing his believers, which will be called his bride, with him <clears throat> to rule and reign for 1,000 years, which is called the millennial reign. He will be coming by way of Mount of Olives with his saints and the armies of heaven. Read Zechariah 14. The third thing, because the coming of Jesus Christ has two components or parts, our discussions will be as our outline presents. And this is the way it'll be. We'll look at the mysterious rapture of the believers of Jesus Christ, which is the mystery where humans become immortals. And under this teaching, we'll look at the rapture a sudden event, the rapture, the Lord himself will come, the rapture, the Old Testament prophets and the mystery, the rapture, the New Testament apostles and the mystery. Then we will teach on the second component or part that's connected to the coming of Jesus Christ. And this will be the second coming of Jesus Christ or commonly called, in many cases and teachings, the second advent. His coming to the earth with his saints. Under this topic, we would teach about the second coming, the explanation. The second coming, the Old Testament prophets and the coming Messiah. The second coming, the prophetic signs that will affect people before the second coming to the earth of Jesus Christ. And then fourth, we'll look at the second coming, the concluding facts of the mystery and the second coming. So in our next study, we'll be concentrating on the mysterious rapture of the believers of Jesus Christ. The mysterious rapture of the believers of Jesus Christ. And under this topic, we will be teaching on the rapture, a sudden event. Therefore, because this event is so sudden, there are two main lessons that we must adhere to. And these lessons are, first, 
all believers of Jesus Christ should be witnessing. As we mentioned in the last teaching, that because the believers of Jesus Christ have the word and the ministry of reconciliation, we're supposed to be out there with the ministry of reconciliation, reconciling people to God. What do you mean by reconciling people to God? That they come to make peace with God. And how that peace is made with God? Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And through his blood that was shed on Calvary, that we can be reconciled or come back in the fold of God. It reminds me of the story of a little boy who had a boat. You know, he made this boat and he carried the boat to the water on the other side of the river to see how it would sail. <clears throat> so the wind took the sails of the boat and guide that boat through the river, and it disappeared on him. And one day, he and his folks were shopping, and he passed across the window. You know how you put things in the window in these little store shops to sell? And there he saw his boat. And he says, that's my boat. That's my boat. I want my boat. And he went inside. His mother carried him inside. And he told the owner, he said, that's my boat. I want my boat. And the owner told him, you know, it's mine now. I bought it from someone and it's for sale. And so he got the money from his mother and he paid for the boat. And he held the boat close to his chest, and he said, you were once mine, now you're twice mine. Yes, we were once God. We were once God's property, possessions. But because of Adam's sin, the whole human race was plunged into sin and lost. And God sent Jesus to be the reconciliation that we could have eternal life. And when we accept Christ through faith for the forgiveness of our sin and we come to him, can you imagine he telling us as he holds us in his bosom, you were once mine, now you're twice mine. Reconcile. That is the ministry that the believers of Jesus Christ have to reconcile people unto God, to make it right. The winds of life may have taken you through the rivers and over the waters. And you may have been sold on the auction block. But God made it possible that through Jesus Christ, we can come back to him. So as ministers of reconciliation and ambassadors of Jesus Christ, we need to carry out this ministry of a reconciling people to God through Jesus Christ, whose blood that was shed on Calvary. Also as ambassadors for Christ, we must live and show that the life in Christ offers to all people who are observing that they too could have the hope of joining Christ's ministry of reconciliation and also becoming ambassadors for him. But friends, the way things are going today, so many people who name the name of God 
and of Jesus. They don't care anymore about reconciling people to God, about being ambassadors for Christ. They'd rather be an ambassador for a political party or something like that. And leave God out completely. A form of godliness, the Bible tells us, but denying the power thereof, such as signs of the last days. Second, those who are viewing this prophetic message. And if you have never asked Jesus Christ to come into your life, ask him to come in today. Forgive you of your sins and get you ready for that certain event when the mysterious rapture of the believers of Jesus Christ takes place. And be ready. Friends, all you who are viewing and listening, you may follow this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, my story, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Also, check out the website www.corbenje.com Also, you may get the textbook and be ready for the next or all the other studies. It's called The Mystery, colon, Humans Becoming Immortals, Transform and Caught Up by the Cloud. Author, Desmond Michael Coverley, PhD, ebook, two ninety nine, paperback, nine twenty two, hardcover, fourteen ninety nine. Get your copy, and let's follow along as we study humans becoming immortals. The mystery. God bless you. Have a great day.